Welcome back to Doing Time with Dan. Today we're outside the studio in beautiful northeastern Pennsylvania, as you can see all the green behind me, and we're going to check out some equipment from MSR. You know, you might be putting together sort of a survival kit in case of an earthquake or a hurricane or just like the ice storms we get here in the northeast when you're off the grid and you don't have any power but you still got to eat, so you need to do some cooking, and the best thing to have is one of these XGK EX stoves. I bought this one specifically because it will burn all different kinds of fuel. It'll burn diesel, jet fuel, gasoline, camp stove fuel, all those different kinds of fuel in one single stove. Now note when you buy the stove, you have to buy the fuel bottle separately. I just went with a small 20 ounce bottle because I have bigger cans of gasoline and stuff like that stored for the lawnmower and it's easy to get access to that. Then I also have the two person cooking system, very lightweight. If you're going camping or hiking or something like that and you want to take some pots and pans with you, that's an alternative that you might want to consider. So let's take a look at everything MSR has for us here, and then we'll boil some water just so you see how the stove works. Okay, before I show you the stove, I'd like to show you this Alpinus two-person cooking system from MSR as well. It contains a total of seven pieces, including a 2.4 liter pot, which is very handy for boiling water if you've got to cook for more than a couple of people. And it only weighs 23.2 ounces, so keep your gear nice and neat, as well as very light. So if you've got to go on a long trek, it won't weigh you down. Opening up the box, We'll put that on the side. You notice that everything is self-contained here in the large pot. The handle, that locks it all together. Now I'm going to tear open the plastic. I'm going to have to open it just a little bit here. And you can see the lid itself, very lightweight and contains a strainer opening here. So when you're boiling your water, if you have pasta or something like that in there and you want to strain it out, you can use either side. Beneath that, you have a nice uh, bowl here for whatever you're cooking to eat out of. You have two sort of mugs. They also have lids with uh, sipping and vents. And just to keep all the kids happy, the other uh, eating dish is red. And then of course you have the large pot and you can detach this handle if you want. So I'm gonna use this to boil some water a minute on that XGK stove. Okay, here's the XGK in the box. And one of the things I like about the MSR people is they think about just about everything. They have fuel burn times here on the top. So if you're planning an expedition or you want to know how long your stove is going to burn on a given amount of fuel and the type of fuel, the information is right here. And on the back is, of course, a description of the features. So let's open up the box and take a look. Now inside, first thing you'll find is that the stove comes in its own nylon pouch. This is very handy. keeps everything contained inside your larger sack that you're using for hiking or maybe the box that you keep all your survival gear in. Now opening that up, first thing you want to take out, of course, is the instructions. And if you're multilingual, they come in French and Spanish and other languages. But there's a lot of pictures in here that uh, show you exactly how to set up your stove, how to maintain it. Lots of good information there. The next thing I'm going to take out is the fuel pump. As you can see, this screws into the top of your fuel bottle. And just a word about the MSR fuel bottle, I do have this full of gasoline right now. And as you can see, there are no leaks. And we really appreciate that. You don't need gas dripping inside your uh, inside your bag while you're doing something. Then we have heat shields here. This one goes around the stove itself, and they have another one for underneath it. And then, voila, as they say in French, here's the stove itself. Now, they even thought about this little hook here that helps keep it self-contained and also when you're connecting over to the bottle. The legs fold out like that, and you can set your stove up on a nice level surface. They also give you a little maintenance kit here, which is very handy, a different jet and stuff like that, depending on what type of fuel you're burning. So now I'm gonna put this all together and you'll see the stove in action. Okay, here we are putting together the camp stove and one of the most important things you have to do is insert the fuel pump into the fuel bottle. This does have a spring release so that you can uh, open it up and allow it to vent and you won't get all sprayed with fuel. But what you wanna do this way here is insert this part of the pump first and add in like that. I don't know if you can see me doing that there. This way everything slips in nice and neat and then you can turn it like that until it's nice and snug. That might be a little tricky for some people to fish that in there. All right, we're gonna set up the rest of the stove now. Due to some technical difficulties, we lost the audio, but just for a little while. As you can see, I put some pressure into the fuel bottle here and I'm about to connect the fuel line. It goes right into that little hole there and then you have a keeper there, that hook, that swings around and holds everything locked tight in place. So you don't have to worry about it coming apart. There's a close-up of it. You can see how simple that is, but it also works very well. 
As you can see here, I've moved the stove to a level spot and I have the heat reflector underneath it. I lit the priming fuel and now I'm ready to open up the valve and get it to go full blast. And believe me, that thing runs full blast. It just kind of sounds like a jet engine once it's running. And that flame is blue hot, so you'll be boiling some water in no time. I put the other heat shield up just to give you an idea of what it's like. Obviously this one is brand new so it needs to get ironed out a little bit. You could also use some rocks to hold it in place. But check out that flame. That's burning blue hot. And you can hear the sound. It's a little bit like a jet engine. I've turned it down. It's actually quite loud. And now I'm going to put the pot on and we're going to boil some water and make that nice ration I have. The Chili Mac with Beef from the Wise Company. That's some good stuff. We're ready to add the boiling water to my Chili Mac with Beef from Wise Company. These Mylar bags do a great job. They keep everything inside nice and fresh. And when you add the hot water, they keep the heat inside. So it steams up real well because you have to rehydrate this food. And you'll notice as I pour the hot water in how the bag expands. It forms a nice seat there on the bottom. So it sits perfectly on the rock. It doesn't want to tip over. Of course you want to take your fork or spoon and mix everything up real well so that the water finds all the food inside the bag. And then I usually seal the top and give it a little shake just as an extra measure to make sure that the water is fine and all the nooks and crannies in there. After that you wait about 12 or 15 minutes and you're ready to eat. Ooh, yummy. Leave most of it in the bag, keep it nice and warm. These Mylar bags do a great job keeping it hot. And there you go. Chili Mac with cheese from the Wise Food Company. Cooked on the MSR XGKEX stove. Yummy. Mmm, that's really good. And we're back in the studio. You know, I can highly recommend that MSR XGK Extreme Stove. That does a great job. Burns all those different fuels and burns them hot and quick. And how about that Alpine 2 system? All those components nest together and they don't weigh that much. So you can take all your cooking gear with you, whether you're on an airplane or going for a trek or just keeping it handy in case of an emergency. Don't forget those freeze-dried rations or some other food of your choice. And hey, thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan. Stay tuned for more exciting product reviews and other exciting information like my videos from the island of Aruba, all right here on my YouTube channel, Lenswork 4.